Hi everyone, I hope you're well. So, um, I don't know what the weather is like for you, but for me, it's really bad. And when it gets really bad, I need to work on some different things. I've got loads of projects in the pipeline, a little bit uh, held back up at the moment because I haven't had any clear skies, but hopefully the weather will break soon and I'll be able to get back to it and bring some more content to you. But in the meantime, I've been working in the past with lots of different people and one of the really interesting projects I did of recent times with, with a guy called Graham of Shivering Cactus, his YouTube channel, which shows loads of different ways to uh, make special effects with Adobe Premiere Pro and After Effects. And this guy really does know his stuff. And he helped me bring one of my images alive uh, so that I could use that for my new um, intro. And he took the Heart Nebula, made it all 3D and moved it around. And I loved it, absolutely loved it. And he's done loads of other projects. Uh, he, he likes space too, so he's done loads of things on space. His channel is definitely worth checking out. But one of the things that Graham came up with recently, an idea that he had, was a way of displaying your astrophotography in a bit more of an interesting way. And what he's done is he's made a 3D space using a Milky Way as the background. And then you can actually put in the RA and deck axis of an image and then it will actually post that image on that piece of 3D space on the Milky Way. So you're placing it where it actually exists. And then you can span around and actually have a look at it. And I thought this was a brilliant idea. It takes a little bit of time to set up, but it's some, definitely something I'm gonna sit down and actually make happen. What I thought was really good, and I haven't got a, one of these myself, but if you've actually got a VR headset or access to something like that, you can actually make this 3D space sort of come alive and be inside it and look around and actually look at the objects at where they are. So brilliant work and he's uh, got, come up with a really great idea. Um, so and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a link to his video at the end of this so you can just click it and go and watch it. Please do. Um, I, you know, like and subscribe to his channel. He'd really appreciate it. He works really hard and comes up with great ideas and he's always thinking of new things. And uh, we've discussed collaborating on some future projects. I'm hoping to uh, get my act uh, together. After all the building I've done and the work I've done, I've ended up a little bit sort of in disarray. I've got loads of other things I've fallen behind on that I need to finally sort out, which I'm gonna do and uh, I'm really hopefully gonna be a lot more organized and be able to do a lot more work with, say, Graham and other people. But anyway, please enjoy Graham's uh, video and I'll see you soon.